So, you have a new YA movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. Amazing, because we're almost out of Hunger Games movies and I'm terrified. Well, I've got you covered, sir. This is based on a book series called Divergent. Does it have dystopian teens in it? It does. So we're going to follow the main character, Triss, and she's not like the other girls. Oh, can you tell me more? Nope. Perfect. And this is going to take place in a dystopian, futuristic Chicago where everybody's divided into five factions. What do you mean? Well, you've got Erudite, who are smart, Candor, who are honest, Amity, who are peaceful, Abnegation, who are selfless and run everything. And what's the fifth? <laughs> They're called Dauntless, and they run around and climb things and go, woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! Oh, that sounds like the fun crazy one. <laughs> yeah, it is, and they're also the police. What? So anyway, when kids are 16, they get this serum-induced test that tells you what faction you should join during this choosing ceremony. Okay. But when Triss does it, the lady doing the test is like, you have equal attributes in all factions. That's dangerous for you. It is. Yeah, because it means they're harder to control or something, so the lady fakes her results to be abnegation and sneaks her out the back door. If she changed the results, why sneak her out the back? Isn't that more suspicious? They shut up, so then at the choosing ceremony, Triss decides to become dauntless. Why even bother with the testing if you're just gonna let people choose whatever? Listen, sir, I'm gonna need you to get all the way off my back about how the testing works, okay? That's just how it is. Oh, okay, let me get off of that thing. So now that she chose dauntless, she immediately has to leave her family forever and start running around and screaming woo and climbing stuff. Wow, just getting right into it. Yeah, she's gonna to meet one of the older guys doing the training. This guy, Four. For what? Training. Training for... No, Four is doing the training. Who is? Four is. Who's Four? The trainer. The trainer's four years old? No, Four is 24. No, 24 is 24. Mathematically, yes, but the trainer's Four. And what's his name? Four? I just want to know. His name is Four. Four is his name. Oh, okay. That went pretty well. Anyway, Four and Triss are eventually gonna fall in love. Wait, isn't Triss 16? Yes. So that's like kind of wrong. Well, in the book he was like 18, but I kicked that up to 24. So that's like kind of wrong. Not in this fictional world, it's not Why'd you write this? Anyway, now she has to do dauntless trainings, and the trainers are really mean to the new recruits. Oh, they are? Yeah, especially this one guy. He's a real jerk. And what's his little evil dystopian name? <laughs> oh, you're gonna like this. Eric? Very evil. And so they're actually getting ranked during this whole thing, and the lowest ranked people get kicked out. Oh. Yeah, and that means they become factionless, which means homeless, but in a future-y way. Gross. So as part of the training, she gets knocked unconscious twice, so obviously she's not doing great. She gets knocked unconscious? Yeah, the second time for like a full day. That's, she has brain damage for sure. No, she gets up and sprints and catches up to a moving train. So getting knocked out for a full day is just fine in this world? Apparently so. So then they do this capture the flag game and Triss is the only one who thinks about climbing up high to get a good vantage point. He said climbing was like one of the two things they do besides screaming woo. Yeah, so then she wins the game for her team and goes up in the rankings a bit. Oh wow wow wow. Wow. So now the next part of the training is going into serum-induced nightmares and getting out of sticky situations. Very exciting, except clearly not real, so immediately less exciting. Yeah, but then Four is gonna see that she's solving problems divergently. Busted. And so since he likes her, he's gonna bring her into his fear landscape to help her train. Uh, bringing people into your fear landscape is tight. That's what I call my basement. Cool, okay, and then we're also gonna find out that Four calls himself Four because he has four fears. So if he sees a ghost and gets spooked, he's gotta change his name to five. Yes, and we also find out that Erudite plans to overthrow abnegation as the government people. Oh, how do they plan on doing that? Well, after the final testing, all the Dauntless are gonna get brainwashed and programmed to go attack abnegation. If they were planning on mind controlling them, why eliminate some of them? Doesn't that just hurt their numbers? Unclear, but the serum doesn't affect Triss because she's divergent, and she finds out that Four is as well. Oh. Yeah, so they need to act brainwashed while all the other Dauntless are killing abnegation folks, but then they get busted by Eric. Frickin' Eric! So Four gets gets taken away and Triss gets brought to the back to get executed. If they're just killing people out of the open, why did they bring her to the back? Oh, she's the main character. That makes sense. But then Triss's mom pops out and saves her and she's like, haha, surprise, I actually used to be Dauntless. I was interesting. Oh, now it's getting interesting. What's her deal? So then she dies. Oh, okay. And then Triss reunites with their dad and he's like, guess what? I'm secretly cool too. Oh. So he dies. Right, okay. And so Triss goes to rescue four, but he's being controlled by another serum and he's being programmed to kill her. Uh-oh, well it's gonna be impossible to stop him now. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, because she's gonna tell him that she loves him, and that's gonna break the curse. I thought it was a serum. I don't care. So to save the day, does she have to tell all the other kids she loves them too? No, 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 no. See, they're all being controlled by a computer that's being controlled by this big old boss evil lady. Oh, what's her evil dystopian name? I get a load of this, sir. Janine? Whoa! So to stop Janine, they actually inject her with the mind control serum and tell her to stop the machine, and she has to obey them 
them because, you know, because of the serum. But you just said orders are given through a computer. Yes. But they just do it to her verbally. They do, yeah. So then the mind control's broken because it worked. Some, it works in different ways. Well, great. So do they kill Janine? No, no, no. That would be a little much. Oh, do the main characters not kill or something? Oh, no, they kill a lot of people, but mostly just extras because they don't really matter. That makes sense. They don't. So then the good guys jump onto a train that's somehow always running and ride it into the sequel. Very exciting. And so that's about it. What do you think? Well, I mean, we're doing the Hunger Games recipe and people like the Hunger Games. I don't see how this can fail. Hi everybody, Ryan George here. I hope you enjoyed that pitch meeting. Just a quick moment of relaxation and meditation before you move on to your next video. So take a deep breath in. And breathe out.